Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and today I'm actually going to talk about Litecoin. Uh, I don't think I've done a Litecoin video on the channel before, but I think it's fitting to do one today if we consider um, what's going on in terms of price action in the crypto space at the moment. We know that Bitcoin has been going mad, we know that Ethereum has been going mad and if we go back to Ethereum, um, we'll look, uh, if, you, if you look in fact, we want to go on the trading view chart for Ethereum. Uh, let's just quickly have a look at that. So when I um, last, not today, but the last time I spoke about Ethereum before today, and we'll go on the Binance chart, um, it was way down here. And I was saying, that I think that Ethereum has a lot more upside, obviously with Bitcoin um, making its move to the upside. We also have this big double bottom pattern over here. Uh, let's just draw this out. You know, I like my pink lines. So we've got this big kind of double bottom pattern, All right? And then we, um, I said that I thought that it was gonna go up and test the previous highs, uh, the previous all time high. And obviously, as you can see, we had that massive move to the upside and it's now getting a little bit of a rejection but I still think it's going to break its uh, all-time high and continue to the upside but not before it does a little bit of a pullback and I said before that I think it might come up and test the, the the local top and then kind of pull back and then kind of break through and make its way up to the to the upside just like we saw with Bitcoin now why I thought it fitting to kind of get into Litecoin right now because it's following the same kind of trajectory at the moment all right, so if we go back to Litecoin, and of course, you know, we're seeing this trend across the entire crypto space. You know, normally these things have a pecking order. We see Bitcoin take off first, then Ethereum. We see Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, and all those top tier uh, high cap altcoins going absolutely crazy. Um, I said on Ethereum, it looked like we had a double bottom pattern. And as you can see, we've got the same kind of formation over here. Got a big double bottom forming, and we're reaching that level where I think it's going to pull back a little bit, and then we're going to get a massive move to the upside to test the previous highs at around 367 or, or approximately 340 to 360 dollars. Okay, so I believe that that's gonna 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 do something um, crazy like that. Um, so obviously, um, I could hold Ethereum. Uh, but there's more potential upside if I was to jump into Litecoin before it's actually tested the previous high yet. Okay, if we come off here and we go to the three day chart, let's go and check out the three day chart on Binance. And there is something else that I would like to point out. Now, it doesn't look as pointy on here, but this double bottom also looks like an Adam and Eve type of reversal pattern. OK, and that that would mean more upside as well. So I'm definitely bullish on Litecoin. As you can see with this, the previous local top over here, it's only just literally uh, broken out of that um, across the hundred and forty dollar level. And it's currently at about one hundred and sixty eight dollars. Um, and that's after a little bit of a pullback from one hundred and eighty five dollars. I think it's going to bounce back. Uh, kind of aggressively to the upside, especially if Ethereum can get that move and if Bitcoin can get that move because Bitcoin is pulling back at the minute down to about $36,000 from around $42,000. But yeah, definitely bullish on Litecoin and I think there's a lot of upside. Now, a lot of people haven't been talking about it. Um, well, in fact, there, there have been a, quite a few people talking about it, but a lot of people don't talk about it like the same way as they talk about XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin and all that sort of stuff. But um, we know that Bitcoin Cash as well and, and Bitcoin SV is one that normally runs quite heavily um, and, and you can make a lot of gains um, on, on those. But yeah, Litecoin is definitely one that's kind of lingering in the shadows and I think there's a lot more upside to it. Another thing that we can't um, let slip us by is the fact that some news came out just yesterday in terms of the Flare network. Now, those that are interested in XRP probably know what Flare network is, uh, but Flare network is also announcing a Litecoin airdrop, okay? And it's to bring DeFi and smart contracts to Litecoin and XRP. So that's a little bit of news for you there. 
which might kind of get on the back end of Litecoin and help to push that price up uh, over the next couple of days. Uh, we're going into Monday, of course. So starting next week, uh, we could see uh, some massive gains in the price. I don't expect the uh, the price action to stop where it is now for most of the altcoins, um, especially if Bitcoin dominance can pull back uh, a little bit further. And the price of Bitcoin can actually stabilize now and go sideways. I think that that's going to drive the market up. And I tend to make a good profit on Litecoin if that does happen. Now, if we look at the percentages, right? If we, if we look, well, let's not go back to Ethereum, okay? But Ethereum has gone up quite a bit. Uh, Litecoin, even if we look from the bottom over here, we can see the Litecoin's already up approximately 400%, okay? So three to 400% from the bottom okay now if we go from where it's broken this uh, where it's broken through at the hundred and forty dollar level right um, it is actually only up after pulling back now it's only up 17 percent from there uh, at the previous top around 27 percent so it's pulled back a little bit but what do we tend to gain if it goes up from here so if it moves up from where it currently is now, about $168, and it tests the previous high, that's 118%. Uh, so approximately 120% you stand to make if this actually does do that. And we know that Ethereum did it in just a couple of days. From this level, went back, went up to test its previous high, uh, all-time high, uh, around that level over there in comparison, and um, did it in just a couple of days. So in a couple of days, you could potentially make around 118%. That's if Litecoin follows suit and does what Ethereum did, which I believe they will. Okay, so it's just a quick video for you today uh, to point that out and let you know that I'm bullish on Litecoin. All right, so um, let me know if you're bullish on Litecoin too. And let me know in the comments uh, what you think. Let me know whether you'd rather be in Ethereum or Litecoin right now. We know that Ethereum has got uh, Ethereum 2.0 just coming out. So that's definitely bullish, but I think that that's just going to drag Litecoin up with it, along with the rest of the altcoins. Of course, there is a cycle, okay? Bitcoin, then into the high caps, right? The profit comes out of the high cap altcoins, into the mid cap altcoins, and then out of the mid cap altcoins, into the low cap altcoins, okay? So I'm definitely bullish, and right now my money is allocated in the places where it needs to be, in the high cap altcoins, and then I then plan to diversify down into the mid cap altcoins after we see a nice bullish run and then eventually into the low cap altcoins and it's all about being in the right coins because you can't just buy any coin and expect it to take off it's all about being in the right coins and then you will make some serious gains so that's about it for now if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and tap the subscribe button so that way you can get all of my videos as they come out uh, also hit the like button that helps with the algorithm for me okay guys and not only that, leave a comment down below and ask me any questions you'd like and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. I'll see you guys in the next video.